What's up? This is HD News Tech. So, if you didn't know, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below because it could really help me a lot. I know I haven't uploaded here for a while, but there's a reason. I'm working a lot. They had to, um, you know, call me in and all that. And, you know, like, if we need extra help and then, you know, whatever. And uh, this is the game I used to play back at my cousin's house um, and his birthday, which is, you know, late in the season, but whatever. Um, Royal Coaster Tattoon, I think, I believe. Uh, I'm sure it wouldn't run on a Windows computer. You would have to have, like, that. Uh, I don't think that would work either. You can install it, but I don't think it would run on any Windows, because I haven't used it for a couple of years. And uh, I know the second one may have to use that open Royal Coaster Tattoon file. Um, application to launch it, of course. And uh, I did buy the second one. There's a triple pack, and it was like ten dollars on Steam. You know, with the you know with the gift card I bought. So uh, yeah, even if I can't use it on this Mac, I can still buy a computer down the road if I have the money. Of course, it doesn't matter what kind of computer I buy. I mean, this this is from the '90s or the 2001, so it doesn't take a lot of hardware. It's pretty efficient, you know, how the source code was. And, um, that mod might be worth the, the time to install once I get Windows. Yeah, Windows PC and me, myself. And with the uh, stimulus coming, you know, the checks, that you're supposed to give you more money because, uh, the U.S. is going crazy with all these, um, patients sick with these coronavirus symptoms and, I've been taking my vitamins. I've been trying to stay away, self distance. You know, in my state, like I always says, like you know, just no, no going out after five in the evening, and then you know, only essential things like uh, going to the store, no movie theaters, uh, no malls. That's been completely closed. Best Buy, I don't think they would actually let you in. Because she had to do a curbside pickup because of this pandemic. And China was doing better. But I heard from my cousin. My, um, you know, one of my family members. She was in the other side of the family. Um, it was getting better in China. And then it's packed again. There's another outbreak of it. Of this disease. Another strand of it. I heard from a co-worker too. So they kind of put together and it kind of made sense. Why China was starting to get more people sick. More, you know, showing up more cases, basically. And they're trying to use these experimental drugs. These drugs haven't been really FDA approved yet to treat this uh, virus pandemic with that. It's like one is a malaria drug. And the other is like some kind of re response to or something like that. And uh, so, so far, it's been working on people who almost could have passed away because of the pneumonia and having a lung infection. And I got wa I got to watch my temperature and everything for a, quite a while because they say it could take 18 months to get rid of this total pandemic that's going around. And in the in the mix of this, you know, we got bad weather coming in. My still it's a little sore, but I got allergies to drainage. And in this kind of season outbreak, we're supposed to have some severe weather. I think Saturday morning during the day sometime. Tornadoes, hail damage, you know, thunderstorms, ink, severe possibility. And, you know, it's just how it is. It's springtime from, like, April to, like, June or something. It's the worst season. The worst time to have these severe storms firing up from the coast and going through our state. Uh, it's just it's just going to happen. I mean, we'll probably be in the watch before we know it. On Saturday, or at least Friday evening, at the very lowest hour of the Saturday morning, which happened before at three o'clock in the morning, because we had tornado watch back in November, and uh, that went pretty peaceful. There was no tornadoes, there was no storms, so there's nothing to worry about. But you gotta be cautious, you know. I most likely will be at work if these storms do fire up. Like they should if they come through the borders. We don't know. My phone will go off. Let me know that. Hey, these storms are crossing, you know, the Missouri and Illinois border. And you only have so much time to prepare for it. And all this. And then, it happened like this last time, a couple of weeks ago. 
where we had a severe thunderstorm, and that was like, it might have been less than a week ago or more. But it basically told me there was a severe thunderstorm, and before we knew it, we had a tornado. That's from my last video I put up. So, yeah, we had to be watchful. We were lucky. Area north of us has got hit, and there's some roofs on some houses that are gone. And um, this is some houses need to be rebuilt. And it's just how it is. So we're rather we'll do that. Hell is a possibility for a good size amount. So, uh, yeah. Possibly some thunderstorms tonight and some severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Evening, which will probably be a watch if it's bad enough. But, you know, right now, I don't think the U.S. has a watch right now. I'm not sure, but I can check anyway. And it's sinking because it's connected to a... No, nothing below us, and then nothing to the west and east on both parts of the United States. So that's like Florida area and then the California area. We're good. There's nothing, no alerts or anything like that yet. But it's still kind of early for it, but I uh, just checking, you know, like, want to make sure. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.